Hi Scorpio, it is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the first week of April. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I thank you for your patience. Um, I, I couldn't get them all done and I do apologize. Um, I have pri I'm doing private readings too so I have to fit those in and it's just crazy. So thank you for your patience. And, and if you do want a private reading, I'm booking out till like April 24th and they're booking fast so and, I, and I'm gonna have to stop so I have a few more slots but not a lot anyway so Scorpio Sun Moon rising in Venus what do we have for the first week of April what do we have for Scorpio I'm gonna do the Celtic cross just for this weekly and then I'm going back to my regular spreads I just figured I'd change it up a little bit just because I I like to do that every once in a while what do we got for Scorpio for the first week? The first week of April. Oh, somebody's clinging to the past. They're clinging to the memories and they need to let it go. I mean, that's what that is. That's the basis. I mean, that's where you're at right now. Somebody's clinging to the memories. I mean, somebody's going to say no. Well, then this, maybe this reading isn't you. There's some, maybe there's some old childhood wounds that are holding you back. That could be the case. Maybe there's fears of abandonment. Maybe there's fears of abandoning, abandoning children. You know, something to, I don't know. Oh, somebody's thinking about going back or thinking about walking away. Could go either way. It's like uh, somebody's definitely thinking about the children or they're thinking about the past or thinking about the memories probably has something to do with children somebody may be stuck in a predicament because of children who knows who knows but the challenge is walking away it's, or going back so it could go either way we need to get a bunch more cards Ooh. so right now I mean it looks like you may have another opportunity you may have a big 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 opportunity right in front of you and the challenge may be going after that opportunity Maybe you see an opportunity and you can't go after it. Maybe it's because of kids. Maybe it's because of the partnership that you're in. Maybe there's too much fear there. Maybe there's, uh, who knows what the reason is. But, yeah, unabil inability to take action. I feel like right now, um, oh, you may have been hurt. You may have been hurt. You may not want to hurt anybody else. You're probably in no hurry. You're trying to be logical. Um, you're trying to be right. Um, you may not have the courage or in the past you didn't have the courage or you've been stomped on you know sometimes when you get stomped on really bad you're afraid to you know make a move oh could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn maybe there's some and, and it looks like uh, this person you know this person probably if you're dealing with this person, this person may be holding back from you. They may be holding back. Interesting. Let's, we're gonna we're gonna clarify those cards and get some more. I need another card to go with that. This is not grounded. This could be you, Scorpio, or it could be the person you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a selfish individual, somebody who's just after your money. Keep that in mind. Or you could be dealing with an individual who doesn't have any money of their own and they want your money. Same kind of thing, right? And somebody who doesn't manage their money well, you could be dealing with that person. Somebody who is very selfish and self-centered. I mean, you could be dealing with this person. Could be a wife. Could be the mother of your children. If you're the male, could be the mother of your children. It, or it could be somebody that you're dealing with that isn't the mother of your children, but somebody that you're dealing with that is very smothering and suspicious and jealous. Or this could be you taking on this energy. Keep that in mind. Somebody's not putting in effort. Somebody's not hard worker. They're not working hard enough. That could be the person you're dealing with. You could be dealing with somebody who's lazy. They just want your money. I don't know who that's for. Um, but it looks like you do have another opportunity and you're thinking about taking it. You're thinking about it, but you're hindered for some reason. 
Right now, you're probably not happy where you're at. There's no growth, right? There's no growth. Um, you probably um, are feeling like you're going through some sort of midlife crisis. Um, maybe there's some loneliness here. There's some loneliness. Maybe you could be in a partnership and you're lonely. You're not, you're not getting what you need. I feel as though... Right now, there's a there's a feeling of lack of self confidence, lack of self worth. There's not a lot of strength. There's not a lot of ambition right now. There's not a lot of ambition, and that could be somebody that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with somebody that is stealing your energy. Keep that in mind. I feel as though you have the tools to be successful, and I feel, think that you're on the verge of taking a new approach. You're like right there. You're ready to take take control of a situation. It's like you're trying to keep things structured. You're trying to keep things organized. You're, you're working. You are working hard. I think that you probably are. There's probably somebody that you're dealing with that isn't putting in effort. You know, it could go vice versa. It could. But I feel as though we have one person here who is working really, really hard trying to keep everything under control and the other person isn't really reciprocating and they're causing a crisis. So, interesting. I, it feels as though you may feel like... Maybe you feel like you've been abandoned. I don't know where that's coming from. But that's something that somebody needs to hear. I feel as though it's time to, you need to take a time out. I mean, the overall outcome is take a time out. Maybe, maybe you have fear of being alone. Maybe you have fear, you know, of, of uh, never finding anybody else. And that's why you're staying where you're at. That's, that's just a fear, okay? We're going to go back around, Scorpio. I feel like right now you're thinking about leaving something behind. You probably see a bigger, better opportunity and you want it. But something is stopping you. It could be just the memories or it could be the children. It could be courage, lack of courage. This is lack of courage and this is lack of courage, lack of self-confidence. But somebody is in a situation in which they are not happy and there is no more growth. And I feel like you're just trying to do the right thing. We're going to go back around. We're not going to clarify this card. The challenge is walking away or going back. That's the challenge. You know, somebody is reluctant to move on. And it could be because of, definitely because of the children. This is reluctant to take a new approach. A transition is needed, but you are going to have to make a move. You're going to have to make a move. And, and I think that you're, you're not willing to for some reason. You're probably going to have to break free. This is liberation. Break free so that you can get your reward, so that you can get the bigger, better opportunity. You know, right now you have to you know, stand up for yourself. You have to, you have to deal with the pain and you just have to crawl away, you know whatever. I feel as though right now you are probably beginning to realize that there is light at the end of the tunnel. You probably realize that there is a better opportunity and I think that's where you've been. I think you, you're starting to wake up. It's like there's got to be more than this. I know there's more than this and I feel like right now you're probably dealing with another person um, who doesn't manage their money well and that's a clear, clear, clear message. And I feel like you're stuck. You are stuck. You're, you're really unhappy. You're really unhappy with this situation. I think that you're discontent with, the, with, the, with the, where you're at. There's a lack of abundance. There's a lack of stability. Um, there's a lack of love and, I, and, and stability. And I feel like you just don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. I feel like right now you've probably, maybe you've fallen out of love with somebody, you know. Um, and you can't go you, because they don't have any money, you know what I mean? You feel bad for them. I don't know if that's the case. It won't be for everybody, but it's just like, hmm. It's like the love has died. I don't know what that means, but... And you're thinking about walking away, but money is definitely a factor here. Maybe if you walk away, you know, you're going to have to pay out, and that's an issue here. And fear of loneliness is big here, too. Um, I feel as though, you know, right around the future... Or in the future, this is a completion. This is the Ten of Cups is a completion of perhaps a relationship, but perhaps you know you you just you don't feel like you can you have the energy for it. You don't want to relocate. You don't want to invest in um, starting over. I feel like right now you are absolutely carrying a heavy burden. You're carrying a heavy load. You have a lot of responsibilities, maybe to your family. And, you know, you, you're just afraid. You're afraid to, um, 
go someplace else. But I think that you know that the time is up. I think, I mean, there's very a lot of discontent on her face. It's like she knows that there's no more growth here and that this is overwhelming and it's time to drop it. But she or he, I'm saying she because it's her on the card. This is a he. So something needs to be dropped because the there's just like... There's really nothing more you can do. There, there really isn't. It looks like it's over. These are completions. And it's all the growth that could be had has been had. Okay? Right now, you somebody is in a situation probably with a very miserable woman who is very selfish and smothering and, you know, really egotistical and controlling. And this, this person, whoever this person is, this is a, this whoever they're dealing with is maybe financially burdened and they don't spend money well at all it's like they overspend they don't know how to manage their money whoever this person is and this person is very um i think lazy i think this i think somebody is dealing with a lazy person and and it has and it has hindered your ability to grow you know it's hindered your ability to receive some sort of blessing. It's like somebody is hindering your growth or hindering your blessings. Anyway. Oh, yeah, and in the, see, the thing is, is that you have another passionate opportunity waiting for you, and I think that you know that. I do. I think that you know that. It's like, this is saying go for it. The outcome is go for it. Go after what you're passionate about. You know, maybe it's time for a new beginning. Maybe it's time for you to go down that new path. Don't let lonely, your fear of growing old alone, don't, don't let that get in the way. You do have a new beginning waiting for you to take it, Scorpio, but you're going to have to probably make a cut. You're probably going to have to be assertive and you're going to have to stand up for yourself, you know. I feel as though right now you may not be aware that you ha are strong enough. You may not be aware that you can do this. You may not be aware that... You know, you will be forgiven in the end and everything's going to work out. So I'm just here to tell you that uh, all will be forgiven. Don't, you know, find your strength to take care of yourself, please. It feels as though you guys are trying to avoid breakdown. You're trying to avoid... Um, any disaster in your life it's like you you know that this is no longer stable you know that this is not where you want to be you know that it's going to come crashing down any day but i think you're trying to avoid it you're trying to avoid it because you don't want to deal with the negative impact you don't want to deal with the aftermath of it all but i'm here to tell you that you you're just delaying the inevitable whatever it is Somebody is in a situation where, you know, you can't, you really can't, you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. It's like it's, it's, it's hindering, it's hindering your ability to grow. It's hindering your happiness. So you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with another Scorpio. We have everybody here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have everybody. Every single sign is here. So I feel as though right now you need to let go of the false foundation, whatever it is that you're holding on to. You know what it is. I don't have to tell you. So Scorpio, I feel like this month the overall outcome is you making a decision. Are you what are you gonna do? You have to you have to decide. Do you wanna stay stuck where there's no peace? It's like you're in a place where there's not a lot of peace. There's not happiness, you know, there's not. And I feel like you know that there's a bigger, better opportunity. But the thing is, is you have to go for it. This is saying, go for it, go for it, go for it. Don't let your fears of rejection or your fears of growing old alone or your fears of, you know, hurting other people hold you back. Because you will be respected for... doing the right thing for doing the noble thing I feel as though there's something that is going on behind the scenes with that moon card that's something hidden below the surface you may not see you may not know that, that you have a bigger better opportunity you may not I think that a lot of you do though I think a lot of you have already seen this opportunity you know what it is I think you do know what you want. I do. But I think for some reason there's something, there's some sort of hindrance in the way. This is saying that, you know, follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. You know, 
there's a new passionate beginning waiting for you to take it. It's like, take it, take it, take it. I think that you probably have this uh, attraction to somebody that you may feel like, you know, if you leave this current situation, you know, what if it gets turned down? Uh, I feel like a little bit of communication would go a long way. Those are the rods of love as well. This is saying move on, move forward, go for it. Just go for it, go for it. Um, it's time to get unstuck. It's, it's stop resisting change. You're sacrificing yourself needlessly for uh, something that, it's almost like it's a lie. It's not making you happy. And I feel like you may be, you know, having feelings or something for somebody else and you want to move on but for some reason you can't some reason and somebody's in a, in a partnership that is not compatible they're not compatible and the thing is is that they got to break free they absolutely this is I mean you literally got to break free from the partnership that's not compatible where there's so much disharmony in the union and I feel like for a lot of you, you, you know that, but dealing with what society thinks. This person is really worried about what society thinks. We're dealing with what everybody else has to say and blah, 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 blah. That's definitely an issue here. So I feel like it's time for you to master your emotions and really take that new approach. Get unstuck from the partnership, whatever it is, that is not fulfilling you, that is causing you, you know... You're not, it's like somebody's not feeling loved. And they, it's like they see this better opportunity, but for some reason they're not taking it. So I'm here to tell you, this is go for it. Go for it. It's like you've got this oh, new person that you are very attracted to. One more card. But, in, but right now, right now, you're not getting what you deserve because you've got to break free. And I think for, for a lot of you, you're in the situation you're in, a lot of it is because of money and the money issues that will arise from breaking free, whatever that means. You do have a new opportunity here, a, a, a really, really exciting one, okay? You do. You're going to have to find the strength to go after it. Indecision. Look at that. Ain't that the truth? Indecision. I use my intuition, my intuition in all aspects of life. Remember, I said, follow your intuition. It's time. You have a, an opportunity waiting for you that is too good to pass up. And that is my advice, Scorpio. Good luck.